Hi, this is Kelly O'Black for this week's Sketch It Out Thursday at the Crafty Maven Getaway. I love the colors of our inspiration piece this week. Unfortunately, my stash does not contain any of that gorgeous orchid pink. So what I did is I looked at the photo of the sunset and of the brush, and there's a really pretty corally pink, and that's what's going to drive the colors on my layout. I was also inspired to use a frame and I used some floral paper that was inspired by that floral wreath and I love the results of what of what my layout looks like in the end. This is the sketch that I'm using and you'll see very quickly that really basically all I have left are the two blocks of paper. I really once I started to work kind of went out on my own but here's a sketch for you from um, Sketchy Thursdays. Now I chose a bunch of um, frames and overlays from Maggie Holmes and Crate Paper to echo the frame in the inspiration piece. That background paper that I'm going to use with the corally pink is from Maggie Holmes Bloom and that paper is called Ribbons. And now I'm trying some frames out, some overlays from Crate Paper. Um, I believe it's Love Notes. And I'm not going to use any of these but I am going to use one of the overlays that doily overlay. What I ended up doing is I found this gorgeous frame and I believe it's from Maggie Holmes open book. Um, I loved the beautiful turquoise color of this and it really went with the minty turquoisey color on that floral paper that was inspired by that floral wreath. That's why I chose that floral paper. So now I'm going to um, struggle a little bit with getting the chipboard frame on and any excuse I have to use frames I try to because I have a ton of them in my collection I just don't use them very often so I really try to if I have a good excuse and this was a great excuse to do that so here are basically the two blocks of paper that were in the other layout and the minute I you know I chose the two pattern papers to go on the background page and kind of the minute I did that and started cutting them the sketch kind of just <laughs> went by the wayside because I um, found a few other pieces that I wanted to use that are laying on the right side there so that sometimes happens with sketches and that's okay but at least you know you can see a little bit of the original layout in mine. So I don't know exactly where that one plus one card and the the piece that I'm going to journal on, which is that that pink card, are from. Um, they were just in a bunch of pieces that I have in my crate paper envelopes. That doily though is from the crate paper love notes photo photo overlays, and I think I told you I was going to use that before. I did cut this really pretty um, corally camera, and that came from a Maggie Holmes. Uh, cut apart well pa pattern paper camera pattern paper I'm not exactly sure what collection that's from I bought the paper at Hobby Lobby and it's not labeled but I think it might be style board and now what I'm doing is I'm just going through my envelopes of die cuts and I found this um, card that says cheers on it now there is a title on that sketch kind of on the side cheers is not my title for this but um, it kind of echoes that the lettering of the title on the inspiration or on the uh, sketch I should say. I am um, going to create a cluster up at the top left there just to balance off the big clusters on and the mats on the bottom and through the middle. It's not going to contain most of the elements that are up there right now though. I found this cute little bow and that came from the Shine collection or came from um, Maggie Holmes Shine from the sticker sheet. And then I also have that uh, the kind of vellum and gold label there. I'm not sure where that's from either because it was in just a package of miscellaneous die cuts. It might be from the pier from Crate Paper but I don't know that for sure. Then I have that doily there and that came from Craft Market from the Craft Market ephemera. 
I'd cut one and used, or I'd cut it in half and used it on another um, layout a while ago and just kept the other half, and that is going to go on here. There were quite, quite a few circles in the sketch, so that's where I used a circle. <laughs> so I was trying to echo some of the elements. I did find that little um, arrow that says August and then the arrow with the gold on it above and those both came from Craft Market as well. So now I have um, some craft in two different places and I will put some craft on here again that I'll tell you about later. Then I found that little die cut piece, that layer die cut piece with the butterfly on it and that is from Crate Paper Oh Darling. And now I'm just kind of trying to, I have one bow on there. I found this really pretty little blush colored bow and I'm going to use that. That came from Oh Darling as well. And I just keep my ephemera in these, um, in these little pockets. And then also I found that little arrow that says love this from Oh Darling and I'm going to use that as well. That will form part of the cluster on the top left there. I saw this tag and I really liked that because it helped bring that aqua color up to the top and that is from the shine sticker sheet, the Maggie Home shine sticker sheet. So that really did a nice job and it also has just a little tiny touch of yellow on it. So now the aqua and yellow are up at the top there. One of the things I did want to do is cover that, the reinforcer there though, because it's very bright. It's a really bright blue and there's no other blue on this layout. So that's one of the reasons I'm going to put that arrow right over the top of it. So the colors now are carrying from where the main photo is and all of the layering and clustering there up to the top there. And I saw that um, I'm going to fool around with this a little bit, but I love the gold in the label because that really helped echo the um, gold glitter that's in the main layout and also the gold on that white and gold doily, that one from Conf Confetti that I, um, circle one that I talked about earlier. So it's carrying all those colors from the bottom up to the top. I think the only thing I don't really have up there is the craft that appears in the main clusters, and I'm okay with that. I think there's enough going on there that I didn't really need anything else. So now because these are from so many different collections, and I find with crepe paper for some reason, the edges really kind of blend together. I'm going to ink everything with my Tim Holtz Vintage Photo ink. And that just helps things stand off the page and, and you can really see them. It brings all these different elements together to tell one story, even though they, they're all Crate Paper or Crate Paper Maggie Holmes, but they're from so many different collections. Uh, the ink really, really helps pull things together. So if you feel like your layouts, layouts aren't cohesive, that's a great way to make them cohesive. And then, you know, I'm adding some elements across, like those two bows, one sits on the left side and one sits kind of on the bottom right of the photo and that sort of draws your eye through the layout as well so that you go from the arrow which brings you down to that bow and then across. So little details like that can really help make your layout cohesive if you think that you're missing some of that in your layouts. So now I'm, you know, I'm trying to ink all these things but there's so many tiny little pieces that um, that can be a problem sometimes if you're if you don't ink them as you put them down. And sometimes I know I want to ink things ahead of time, but a lot of times I don't until I don't determine that until later on, and that can get me in a little bit of trouble, like it is here because I'm having to move things and um, things are shifting on me. I have the basic layout down, but you'll see I have to shift things a couple of times and you get to see my crazy hair. <laughs> I 
All right, and now I'm just inking the other, that second piece of paper there. So this is one of those layouts that I didn't follow the sketch, but the sketch inspired elements on the layout itself, kind of like I didn't follow necessarily the, if you look at the colors for the inspiration board, but things, but I did follow pieces of it that inspired other pieces on my layout. And I think that's A-OK -okay to do. It just helps you be a little bit creative, gets you thinking a little bit, pulling things from your stash, that kind of thing. I wish I'd had that orchid color because it's so beautiful, but it, it just does not exist in my stash. I have grandsons, um, not a lot of girly layouts to scrapbook unless they're about me and, and me and my friends, I guess. Um, I can do it that time or my mom and sister and I, but I do so much scrapping of my grandsons that I have more boy stuff, it, it feels like, or I don't get to use my girly stuff as often. Not that I can't put pink on their layouts. I, I have put pink on my grandson's layouts before and we've lived to tell or they've lived to tell about it. Um, I love this one plus one equals love card there um, because what this is is the story here is about um, some s'mores we were making on a recent family weekend together. We took a regular s'more and then we had all sorts of different candy bars. In this case mine has a a Reese's peanut butter cup in between and so I like s'mores to begin with but when you put the Reese's peanut butter cups in them or the candy bars in them they just become all sorts of even more goodness than they were before so that's where the one plus one equals love comes from and that was actually going to be my title until I decided I wanted a little more gold on this layout and you'll see that in a little bit how I bring that gold in so I'm just taking my um, big roll of foam tape that's not so big anymore because I've used so much of it and I'm putting it on the back of this arrow to get that to stand up. You want some, I want some more dimension in my layout. And then I just pop the other arrow up there and getting that all glued down. Sorry about that, I have a little tickle in my throat. <coughs> I was trying not to cough. Um, anyway, then I, I took that doily and I did cut it in half so that I could put it in two different spots on the, on the layout. And now that kind of minty, greeny, aqua-y color is appearing there. It's appearing on the frame and it's appearing in the layered aspect of that butterfly die cut as well. And then also on the tag too. So again, just another thing that that color is in more than one spot and it helps pull all the colors together. Now what I decided to do is I decided I did want some more gold glitter on this layout. It was appearing in the two spots with the craft and a little bit of the gold foil up on that label. So what I did is I took the um, American Crafts Thickers Happy Alphabet it's a, a really small glitter alphabet. I think it's from Maggie Holmes Shine. It might be Bloom though. Now that I think about it, I think it is Bloom. But anyway, um, it's a Maggie Holmes and that helped bring, bring more gold in. Then I was kind of looking over my layout and there seemed to be a spot that I needed something else up in that corner there. It just felt like um, it was missing something on top of that die cut. So I grabbed that um, it looks like a, a fair card from Crate Paper Confetti from the Snapshot Paper, which is a cut apart paper. So I'm going to put it on the bottom and the top there. Again, di it's diagonal, so it's bringing layers in and making things more cohesive. One of the things that you are not going to see that I'm quickly going to tell you about is I took that banner sticker that's just to the left of my hand right now on that sheet and it says follow your heart. There's a little bit of craft there. I'm going to put it underneath the love, um, one plus one equals love and the bow uh, sticker. 
and that will bring some craft to the bottom of the layout. So look for that in the still shot and the detail shots. And now I'm going through my enamel dots. I decided I wanted to put some gold enamel dots on the layout to again bring a little bit more gold, a little bit more gold glitter into the layout. I had thought about using my um, Heidi Swap Color Shine, but I had a horrible misting accident yesterday and almost ruined an entire layout. Um, I did definitely ruin part of it and had to sort of um, rethink how I wanted my layout to look. So I decided I didn't want to be doing any um, misting on my layouts today because I only had today to as a chance to to um, make this layout. I'm going to be really busy this week so I, I didn't want to take the chance of um, of ruining something even though usually the color shine is pretty good to me and doesn't do awful things but anyway if you if you um, subscribe to my personal channel in about a month or so you'll see that layout accident it's on a layout I believe called a new adventure it is called new adventure now that I think about it um, anyway okay so I've got the enamel dots on coming up are the still shots and the detail shots hope you are all well join us tomorrow for another video on crafty maven getaway bye